In the fall and winter, crows gather in large numbers. Why do they do this? Actually, there are 39 species of crows and ravens. These include the American crow, Corvus bracarhynchus, and little raven, Corvus mallori. Thus, there may be variation across species making the question even more interesting. Early researchers proposed that crows and ravens gather in large groups to increase the chances of finding food. Food is scarce in the winter, so the larger groups would allow individuals who could not find food follow those who could. This following behavior was demonstrated in great blue herons by crabs in 1974, so perhaps it is also true of crows. Two researchers, Lohman and Tam, set out to discover whether this hypothesis held true for hooded crows and common ravens. They created artificial food sources by laying out dead animals at various sites and waited for the crows and ravens to discover them. Did staying in large groups help crows find food? Their data at some sites supported this hypothesis, but in others the results were unclear. Other evidence suggests that flocking serves as a defense against predators and as a way to regulate temperature in colder weather. Some of these benefits seem to be maximized in much smaller groups on the order of 10, so how these smaller groups then aggregate into large groups is still not fully explained. So, there are many factors causing the large flocking behavior of crows. However, there are many finer points of flock formation that still remain to be discovered. Due to the intelligence of corvids, a more precise model supported by a greater amount of high-resolution data would reveal many subtle mysteries of this fascinating group of birds.